Nat 20. Welcome back to Nat 20, where in our previous episode, our adventures were able to meet up with Zix Krager, who is one of the leaders and masterminds of the rebellion that is prone to happen in Silsby. So our adventurers have talked with him and have planned with him to uh, kidnap the king at midnight and to kill Shavid Da and to try to replace the king of Silsby with the king of Avranches and his son. So that's where we left off. Uh, what would you guys like to do right now? It's just a few... Probably just a few hours before you guys want to start, I'd say. Okay, good. I have to get my plan in place. Yeah. So, <laughs> this is my distraction plan. Sure, you can go first. <laughs> I have to cause the distraction. <laughs> I know, I'm just fucking. <laughs> um, so, first of all, I'm going to need to get five men. Each of them are going to have one of the marbles. And then they are going to go to five different buildings, and they're going to evacuate the civilians out of there. Now, when those buildings empty, they're going to stand at the doorways and wait for my signal. Now, the other five men are going to go with me to a night market. <laughs> we are going to evacuate the people from that night market, and they are going to have the... Uh, well, no, I'm just going to start lighting things on fire, but that's not. That's after I get the signal. Okay. So we're going to wait there, and then when it's midnight, what's going to happen is I'm going to shoot a firebolt up in the air, which is the signal. Those men are going to throw the marbles into the houses, causing big booms everywhere. And then I'm going to start lighting the market up. And then we're going to wait at the market for when guards show up. Okay, uh, just make sure no one gets harmed. Yes, of and course, I can make that happen. What do you do for percentage rolls again, sir? Uh, two D10s. Okay. And... I want to know how likely it will be that one of them picks up the rigged red marble. <laughs> For the Please. houses that you choose to burn, <laughs> make sure they're these ones and not these ones. He points to, like, on the map. All right, we can make this happen. Yep, just because these are either abandoned houses or enemies' houses, I'll say. All right, I, um, I'll relay that to the men that are at my disposal. Great, great. <laughs> yeah, so, uh... <laughs> Everyone, everyone was good with that plan. Uh, everyone, they all take a marble. Uh, okay, good. How should I roll to see which one gets the? Okay, well, let's see. I've dispersed. Just there uh, were seven. Seven, seven, seven marbles. marbles. There's seven marbles, and I'm giving five men each a marble. Five, so there's each. Yeah. Then you have, you have two then, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, so left. so uh, I'll roll a d6 and. Uh, okay, so first person... It's a 1 in 7 chance for each eight. person. Yeah. Roll a uh, d8 for eight. Uh, each person, well, and just take away the 8. It's 1 in okay. 7, and then uh, a 1 in yeah, 6. And so, the line seven. Yeah, so 1 to 7, that's right. they have that number. Yeah. First one doesn't. Second one doesn't. It's an 8. Third one doesn't. Fourth one has... Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You just had to go and swap some marbles, you greedy bastard. <laughs> I just want to see what happens. You're like, I'm actually curious. Motherfucker. All right, well, this is going to be interesting. Hey there, Del, you've been a bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you men, do you understand your jobs? Yeah, we will uh, evacuate people from that area and start fires on your signal. Good. Wonderful. And what's the signal? Uh, firebolt in the air. Awesome. All right. What's my middle name? <laughs> I'll signal to the other five men <laughs> to follow me, and we will start making our way to the night market okay. through alleyways and stuff, trying to stay yeah. out of sight. Uh, just roll us off. Ooh, I'm, I'm not good at that, but that's okay. It's because you're a human. Hey! Uh, that's 11. No. Yeah. Uh, you seem to just be a regular person walking around. Okay. Not like, you're still being seen, but yeah. no one's really taking notice, really. Good, good. Apart from your mask. But they're crazies everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you can always just take the mask off. Or whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, who would like to go next? For what they're doing? It is now probably about an hour or two before the event happens. Let's do it. I mean, let's head off, because I, I told them. Or actually, you were, you were going to go to the castle like, almost immediately after you called the king. Yeah, because you said he, we, he needed us to go sooner than later, yeah. so we're like, we'll take off. And that's what we're doing, I guess. So we're 
on our way. Yeah. Uh, so you guys got the guards. The guards have been told that you're oh, yeah. seeing that you're expected, and they let you guys in. Sweet deal. And they tell you that uh, the library is to the northeast of the castle, where the books should. Just nod and say thanks. Um, yeah, I can't wait to put this book back. And I uh, <laughs> walk by. <laughs> Sweet. Writing uh, my wrongs, that's me. <laughs> and they tell you that the Kingdom of Branches is also in the library with Cochrane. Oh, awesome. Uh, see you later, guys. Have a good day. So we walk off, obviously, into the direction of the library, and then as soon as the guys get out of sight, I think we, like, we'll stop and... Well, we should go to the library and talk to the King of Mount Ranches. Mm-hmm. I think it's important that he kind of knows yeah. that we intend on in putting him in charge. I guess so. And we're going to talk, and we should probably do it <laughs> one-on-one. That's true. Because it's not really a nice surprise to be like, by the way, King's dead, Shevin Dawes dead, you're in charge. <laughs> and your son also <laughs> You died. also don't know how he's going to react to this, though, too. Does he like King Alan? Uh, he sent his kid here, so... That was a political move. That was political. Yeah, so he's... Do an th- insight check. Not 20. Mm, <laughs> yeah! Yeah, <laughs> baby! You're not here! I know. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> yeah, so the two of you so believe of. that... <laughs> the move by the... By King Ulysses was completely political, and he doesn't respect King Alan too much. I mean, once we go there, we're gonna explain to him that... Extensiveness of King Alan's crypts. Hell yeah! And we're gonna tell him if he doesn't help us, we're not gonna go to the depths, and we're not gonna save his friends and family. <laughs> <laughs> Just wow. kidding, we're not gonna <laughs> say that. But yeah, all right. But yeah, so I say uh, let's right. make our way to the library. We have to wait till midnight anyway when they make the signal. Sounds good. Besides, so I always enjoy some light reading from time to time. So you go to the library and you see a ton of books and tons of bookshelves and stuff like that. And uh, you also see the king and his son just sitting at a table. Are you actually? The king seems to be like teaching him some stuff about whatever books he reads. <laughs> <laughs> um, does uh, are you actually going to return the book? Or just... No, I'm actually probably going to steal some more. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I guess we should just like walk up to him. I don't know. Yeah, uh, I walk up and I'd be like, Yuli, my guy! Cochrane! <laughs> I embrace like, the boy. Oh, <laughs> hey! Hey, Blaze! Hey, it's good to see you! It's awesome to see you! I'm glad! <laughs> and you too, Well, you seem a lot different than before. A lot, like, I don't, I don't want to mean this in a bad way, but kind of like, sick? Or like, <laughs> almost like looking like, like, like you're gonna die? Well, yeah, I get that a lot. Yeah, he had a pretty rough weekend, buddy. <laughs> okay, just wanted to make sure everything was all right. It's not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's a great transition moment. Uh, so yeah, I will. I I will turn to King Ulysses and I will inform him of the plot of the Viva La Resistance. Uh, he says. Uh, what makes you think this is a good move? Uh, well, what makes you think it's a bad move? Because honestly, have you met King Alan? I know, but you, you're kidnapping, kidnapping a king. Yeah, we're getting him out of the picture, so we don't have to kill him. Would you rather I cut his throat? I cover, no, I cover right. Cochran's ears as I say that. <laughs> no, I'll fucking kill him. Uh, for any reason, I'll fucking do it. No, I mean... Kidnapping a king is a huge offense. Even planning against planning this is a grave offense. Do you have any idea how shoved under Shabadaw's thumb this guy is? He's not a king. He's a pawn. You, you do have a point. Uh, I just don't know if I can. Now be you, king here. you are a king, my friend. <laughs> yeah. And if anyone can lead these crazies, <laughs> it's you. <laughs> I've got a brunch as once we get the You also back. have a mini king and uh, cover Cochran's ears. <laughs> <laughs> no one's there. He's also only thirteen years old. Oh, yeah, I thought he was like seven. Look, he's already a man. No, I, I think he's thirteen. I think that's I think, so. right. I think you said nine. Nine? I thought you said nine. Okay. Well, he's a tween. He's already listen, boy. he's listen. He's already nine years old. As much as I think, think of it though. He'll be a great day, and I think this isn't he, it's not yet. He still has a lot to learn. Think of it, though. If you had Avranches and Stillsby, you would be the most powerful king in Talfania. And that's not something that's good. 
It's nice. not good to have. I should have gone with you guys. Hey, I'm gonna help me out here. It wouldn't look good to have a king who's a king of like multiple cities, especially when they're one of the largest cities and one of the most protected cities. Do you have any uh, candidates then to replace <laughs> King Alan? Because listen, I'm gonna be honest. We're going that, through with this. That's my problem right now. I don't. I don't. I don't know enough about Golden <clears throat> Silsby to know about this. What do you think of the guy who's the leader of the rebellion? I don't know this man. Zixi? Oh, man. He's about as unsure of himself as you are sure about this flag. <laughs> um, I think he'd be a temporary replacement. Does he seem to want to be a king? I don't think he'd be want. Sure. No, he didn't. Like, he seems to be a leader, but does he want to... No. Does he want the crown? Not so, at all. He was that could be promising. He's in power, like he's the leader of the revolution, and I'm not here, but I'm just yeah. saying this because uh, like the people support him and they trust him, and obviously they have their reasons for that. And it's not like he's in the position because he's greedy for the power and he wants to do it. He's, he's doing it because it's something he has to do for the people. So that's king material. Yeah, I mean. Uh, honestly, I don't really like the guy, but uh, <laughs> if anyone could be king aside from you, it would be that boy. Okay, uh, there's promise. Do you know what do you know about him? Like, uh, do you know, like where he grew up, or like he grew up in like, He grew up in Stillsby. Uh, he's human. Uh, he's eighteen. Uh, handsome devil. Uh, <laughs> that's I. We've only known each other for a couple of nights, so I mean... Okay. Uh, <laughs> that was all... <awful. laughs> Shit. Well, never mind. <laughs> I fucked it up. Do you know what, like, background he has? Like, is, if I does just, he have royal if I did or, encompass it you know, into a phrase of being either a, uh, a monk or a, uh, a fighter or a paladin, like, kind of like that? Is that what we're going for here? <laughs> no, like, how he grew up. I'm asking. Do you know? Oh, man. You you're, about any, any you're putting a lot of pressure <laughs> on me right now. <laughs> Clearly, we should have asked more questions. I just we met barely, this guy. <laughs> we just met the guy. I got the impression from him. looking at him that he grew up on the streets. He's okay. got a street urchin look about him. A, okay, a hero so of the poor. He knows people, then. Yes. I mean, he's leading poor them. Poor people. Uh, yeah, we think he could rule. Like... He has promise from what you're saying about him. Sounds good. I I just don't know about my role in this. <laughs> well, originally your role was the lead, yeah. but now you don't really have one, so... Just shut up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Basically, don't fucking tattle. It'll look really bad on me if I'm here when this goes down and if I don't condemn anything that happens just or anything like that. Maybe just you and go to sleep. Maybe you and little cocky should uh, fucking break out. <laughs> Leave. I think that's that's what I'm thinking too. Uh, you should head to Summit. No. Uh, maybe Mott. No. Uh, <laughs> Get my aunt that lives. <laughs> like, <laughs> they'd be safe in Avranches. They can just go back and live there. I suppose, yeah, go to Avranches. We have Allie Allendale. She has a boat. She's dope. Uh, by the Stillsby Harbor. You could ask, I mean, you don't need to. You're a king. She'll give you passage. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that may be best. It'd be a bad yeah. idea to go around the city at this time, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna light some fires. You saw your zebra overcoat. Oh, uh, you never gave it back? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for reminding me of that. Do you mind if I keep it so I can be disguised as I leave town? Alright, but uh, like, not the hat, please. I need the hat. <laughs> you so want to give the hat to his son? <laughs> Do you mind giving me one of the hats that you took from me before? <laughs> he just wants a hat. Give yeah. him a hat. Uh, why I'm am I always the one making sacrifices? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give him a hat. Thank <laughs> you for giving me my hat. <laughs> Riveting content. That's, that's it. That's it. Listen, here's the plan. No, you made me very upset. Okay, <laughs> uh, you said this was happening at midnight, right? Well, we're gonna kidnap him at midnight. Yeah. And I mean, okay. while we wait, I'm going to just start taking books. <laughs> I mean, any kind of spell books, any kind of, like, history books. I'm going to steal some, uh, like, 
Freaking, uh, uh, are you saying this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I'm wrong. laughs> I mean, come on, the king knows me by now. I'm taking the books. How to make creeps 101. <laughs> and the new uh, upcoming series, uh, 10 ways to make pancakes. <laughs> uh, roll a history check right now. Number 10 is definitely not a waffle. I <laughs> uh, rolled 19. You know that that's <laughs> already a book series, but it was like trying to play on the success of How to Make Creeps. It failed horribly. They made, they tried to make like 10 books immediately after the latest release, and they're all so on like shops and bookstores. No one's bought any. But for discounted prices, of course. Mm. I take books for free, <laughs> but. <laughs> uh, and King. Uh, Ulysses will tell you, uh, you should try to keep a low profile until midnight then. Should we just stay here? You, you can probably stay in the library and just read or whatever. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> fucking great! While you wait, but, uh, just try not to draw attention to yourselves. Okay. Well, uh, we'll stay in the library then. Yeah, might as well. Yeah. And this conversation never happened. What conversation? What are you talking about? Exactly. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> uh, can I do an investigation check? See what if there's any like important books. Oh, uh, sure. But and first, uh, the king will bid you adieu. And oh, yeah. Say, uh, safe travels. Nice and to you, my friend. Good luck in well tonight and when you go to the depths. I will let my rocky talking. I say, keep in contact, keep in touch. I will. Thanks. Keep keep cocky safe. Does he really need to have the other rock now? Could we just take it? And just- why? We need to contact someone when we're in the depths. I guess so. Who has more influence than the king of Avranches? Uh, the king of Somersdale, you know who's dead. You know how sad. <laughs> <laughs> so nobody. <laughs> Imagine if he walked out and like it accidentally like fell out his pocket with a bunch of other rocks. He's like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if that red marble you snuck in killed him inadvertently. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a heartbreaker? No one would know except for me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. Yeah, so I bid them a do. And fine, I won't call him Cocky anymore. Just Cochran. <laughs> Good. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can I roll investigation? Sure. I will as well. I'm sure it's like well. a library, like I said, has some important books. Yep. Hey, what happened to Kaka K- K- Kara? He, he got taken kidnapped. Away? Taken yeah, to he the was da- taken. <sighs> Solid. Nat 19. 20, baby. Oh, damn it, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a 19 plus 4, so 23. <laughs> Nice name drop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, another uncreative joke. <laughs> uh, you find a lot, a lot of like history books that you've never seen before. So some of just little be some of the entire continent, some even of the uh, travels of recording like when people got to Silsby from overseas. And the, like, fight with the pirates who were here before. And, yeah, you basically just find a lot of history books and a few, like, fiction books, stuff like that. I take, uh, more than my fair share. Okay. I don't really care for books. Okay. <laughs> I was just looking around to see if there was anything interesting. Yeah, that's basically all, all you find. Well, yeah, we'll just chill till midnight then. Okay. Yeah. Was there anything that Lazarus and Ryan want to do while, before midnight comes? Mm, I don't think so. Okay. No. Okay, so we will fast forward to just a, like probably around like twenty minutes before midnight. That sounds good to you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll start with the two of you. Since I haven't had you guys talk yet. Well, uh, let's just say we, uh, that we move to. We're going to the black market, right? Is it, is that where we're gonna go? Take a uh, six. And whoever else there? Uh, you believe that uh, Shavadal would be at the tavern. Uh, yeah. What is that tavern called again? Uh, the, the Silver Dragon? Dragon? No, it's the, the Silver Dragon. Okay. Um, we, would we be able to like get there before him and then catch him outside before he goes in? Uh, you assume he's already there. Okay. Well, let's just go and hopefully we'll find him. I'll, I'll kind of be stealthily Sneaking ahead, mm-hmm. uh, keeping an eye out for anything, and keeping an eye out for like his guards, and see if we can spot him in, at the tavern. Okay, you do see a lot of guards and his people just walking around. And the closer you get to the tavern, the more you see of his men. Not really more guards, but mm-hmm. of his men. 
All right. Well, um, hmm. Would we be able to get him out of the tavern at all? Yeah, there'd probably be some way. Some way. Like, uh... Could probably convince them for some reasons. Having captured the leader of the resistance. Mm-hmm. All right, well, Since I'll... you seem to be buddy buddy with yeah, him, I fucking love this guy. <laughs> except not anymore. Just, you know, um, so <laughs> I'll try and set a trap, uh, probably in some alley close by or okay. something. Yeah, just like line wait. Yeah, and Zix will tell you to tie his hands behind his back. Yeah, okay, but I'll lightly. Do it loosely, yeah, yeah, so he can. Yeah, Zix likes it just tight enough where it pinches <laughs> a little bit, but not too hard. <laughs> Also, if you want, you can blindfold him. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, I feel like we're doing something else here. <laughs> can you make it really tight? <laughs> you aren't right. slapping me hard enough. <laughs> uh, okay, well, uh, I guess I'll go in. I'll I'll leave Zix outside, because I don't want to just bring him into the yeah. tavern. He'll yeah. probably just get killed. Um, <laughs> Do you see David? Is he uh, okay? And Torian will stay outside with the Zix, like... Keep them where he is. Cool, yeah. That was like, yeah, yeah, that was gonna ask. Alright. Um, so then, yeah, I'll have them waiting in like the alley where Lazarus is. Okay. And then I'll go in and I'll try and find Shavada. Uh, you go in and the bar is just bustling. Like, mm-hmm. there's so many people in there, everyone's getting drunk, there's loud music playing. Uh, and you do see Shavada in, at one of the tables that, like, on one side, and he seems to have People who you would assume are important figures mm-hmm. near him. All right. Uh, well, I'll, I'll go up to him and I'll, and I'll I'll bow, even though I don't want to. Shavit will be like, "Oh no, no, no! We don't do that here." I heard you would be here. I uh, I have some information about the leader of the resistance. That you asked me. Oh, and his eyes like bright up. Yeah, actually, um. Uh, Lazarus and I managed to capture him, and, uh, we have him... He'll put up a finger, and he'll kind of brush his companion's way. And motion for you to sit down. Okay, I'll, I'll take a seat. Yeah, we, we managed to capture him, and, uh, we have him waiting outside. Um... How did you figure out who he was? We disguised ourselves, um, as, uh, pro- proletariats. <laughs> um, <laughs> we, we made it seem like we were... Uh, supporting their movement, and uh, we managed to infiltrate their inner circle, and they brought us right to their safe house. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Not very smart. It's better than rebellion. my men have gone, and my men have tried that, like, many times. So good on you. Uh, what's this man's name? Zix. Zix? His last name. Krager. Krager. Zix Krager. Okay. It's good to know. And do you have this guy? We have him in custody. Hey, uh, should you tell yourself to calm down? No, I said I feel like a cop now. <laughs> oh, I thought you were like, calm down. It's okay. You got this. You got this. <laughs> Take a breather. Yeah. And you're positive this guy is the leader. 100%. Not just a figurehead or anything? No, I'm 100% sure. Yeah, I have my word. Okay. Uh, roll this up. I am sure it's him. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'm not sure. Why are you asking so many questions? <laughs> I'm leaving. I guess, uh, do you mind bringing me to him? Yeah, I'll take you to him right away. Thanks. Okay. And he motions for a few of his companions to come to you. Alright. I don't want to say you can't bring anybody, because that's super, like, yeah. this is a yeah. trip. I guess so. And I'll go back to, uh, Baron. Oh, shit. Alright, so it's, so it's like just a few minutes before midnight. <sighs> Alright, and everyone's in place. Yep. Yeah. Oh good, I'm in the market here, it's evacuated. Yep. Oh, wonderful. Uh, well actually, what would you have said to try to evacuate the people from here? There's a bomb! Uh, mostly <laughs> I just would have trusted the men to do that. Okay. Saying that they know the place and they know the people. Okay. Uh, I'd, I'd say they'd probably be able to get most people out. <laughs> Not Three everyone? Tacos. Uh, <laughs> there would be a few guards who are, who, oh, because guards. it's their post, they just stay there. Good. Okay. Tacos down the street. Um, all right, so at that point, I will get to the middle of the market. I'll make sure the band are in the market somewhere. And uh, when it's midnight, I'm going to fire that fire bolt in the air. Okay. And then I'm going to start lighting that market on fire. Okay. 
Uh, so he fired the firebolt in the air, and then about, like, five seconds later, you just hear kind of muffled booms coming from, like, all around you. Yeah. Like, from the places where you told them to be at. And then after one of them, <laughs> oh, fuck. one of them seemed louder than the others. <laughs> you kind of, you, you, you scream, too. <laughs> And then, when you look up, you see that what looks like a fiery dragon has gone up into the sky and has flying over. It's not, you, when you look, it's not an actual dragon. It's just like the one that Gandalf, like, said in the hop. Oh, in, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also the screen. I was gonna say, I didn't actually want to be a dragon. <laughs> I was making a joke. Oh, my ah. God. That's a distraction, though. Okay. <laughs> um. And you hear a lot of people start screaming at everything that's going on. It's working. Okay. <laughs> um, it's what you want, isn't it? <laughs> uh, now the guards around me. I'm, at this point, I'm firing firebolts at these like little stands here. So. Okay. Yeah. What are they doing, these guards? Just uh, watching. Just, yeah. <laughs> uh, the guard. Most oh, of them are just trying to run away from the ensuing oh, fire <laughs> and trying to like Coward. get water to put it out. <laughs> What are they supposed to do? Sword fight flames? <laughs> they get sword fight flames. Back, back, you need <laughs> fire. Back. It's a roll time. I pull out some marbles. <laughs> and when these guards come rushing back with their water, I start yeah. throwing marbles at them. Alright, okay. well, so much for not hurting anybody. So you, you have two marbles, right? Yeah, I have two marbles yeah. left. Okay. I throw one at a couple of guards and the other one at some other guards. Okay, uh. Well, die horrific besties. I'd say there were probably around ten guards. First one was able to get away with some damage. Second, same. Third, same. Fourth, nope. 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 Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, so about... I, that was four of them would have su- succeeded in getting away from the full blast. Okay. And then, please roll... Uh, just want to check the damage on these bad boys. You should get 66. Is that really fireballs? Or no, fireballs. 60. Uh, uh, 86. Yeah, 86. 86. <laughs> 60, 12. So please roll 88. Okay, I need another one. There we go. That's a 5 and an 8. Uh, it's a 1 and a 1. An 8 and a 4. And then a 6 and a 1. 34. 34? Uh, so all of them that were unable to get away are just burnt and decimated. <laughs> you see, like, it's basically just a pile of armor just laying on, in, like, crumpled on the ground. <clears throat> and then the other four are screaming with pain because they were burnt really badly and they're just running and trying to get away from the flame and trying to find somewhere where they can get healed. I'm just gonna straighten my mask up. <clears throat> All right, uh, I think our job is done here. I'll um, kill. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, get back to the base, shall we? Unlimited ammo. <laughs> uh, I think we should try to make it so that this fire doesn't spread first. Says one of the guys with you. We don't want to burn the sound to the ground when we tr- are trying to save it. All right, fine. Look, you guys get back to the council. I'll take care of the fire. Uh, we're gonna help save, take care of the fire. They don't have the power that I do. I start casting just Ray of Frost around on the, all over okay. the fire. Okay, uh, a few, like, two of the others are doing the same thing, and one has a water spell, and oh. then the other two are just trying to pat down and then that's catching fire. Seeing these other men perform magic has left Farron feeling incredibly <laughs> self-conscious. <laughs> <laughs> they could do magic His too? self-worth has officially plummeted. <laughs> what is the... Hey, same. <laughs> but it has caused white, widespread panic throughout the city. I did my job. And I'll go to uh, Blaze and Aelrindal. I'm looking through the window, and I see a fiery dragon burst into the air, and I'm like, uh, that's not quite what he mentioned, but uh, I think that's our signal. Uh, do you know anything about this dragon? I thought he said it was going to be a fireball. Nope. <laughs> no. Nope. <laughs> nope. Uh, mm-hmm. All right, whatever. Uh, clearly, mission is a go, <laughs> and uh, I'll make my way out of the library. Make it. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> as you make your way 
like down the hallway, you, you just see a lot of guards start running outside and try to make sure that they can take care of what's happening. Uh, as well as a couple of guards go to the game. Inspiration? Uh, let's kidnap two of them. Take their clothes. Act as guards. <laughs> hey! How are you with murder? <laughs> <laughs> I'm already dead, ain't I? <laughs> Fair enough! And I, uh, uh, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, no. Is that a yes? <laughs> I'm gonna jump out and I'm gonna grab the last two in, like, the stream of guys and drag them to the library and, uh, kill them. I'm gonna grab one as well, obviously. Wait, he grabbed two. I wasn't saying I, well, I'll grab okay, one. We'll grab them together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and uh, I want to snap our necks. Okay, uh, do a strength check, which sure. will be competing against theirs to drag them in there. Yeah, you control. Control. We're on a mission here. <laughs> strength check? Yeah. Just straight up strength? Yep. Oh, fuck me. Ten. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, the guy you were trying to drag got a nat 20. The guy you were trying to drag your older 17 plus whatever. Uh, so... Oh, Do you guys know where the, the bathroom is? <laughs> <laughs> the moment you, got, you try to, like, pull them with you, uh, they stand, like, they're still, like, walking forwards and all, uh, like, dragging you with them. <laughs> <laughs> guys, where are you going? <laughs> and then the one you were trying to hold on to, uh, no, it's, you're holding on and just tries to shake you off. You're not shaking off. And then tries, just hits you with the pommel of his sword. Uh, I, I realize this plan has failed, so I just collapse and pretend I'm unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> You'll take three damage. Pretend I'm unconscious. <laughs> yeah, after the guy starts to pull away from me, I just let go and I just... <laughs> <laughs> that sucked! <laughs> <laughs> and they just run away, keep going to do what they're doing. Yeah. I start, like, I slowly get back up, uh, and I'm like, oh, give me a minute to fix my pride. Uh, <laughs> and then I guess we'll just do it the old fashioned way. No need to put on disguises. Uh, maybe if we see some other guards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally, totally. <laughs> yeah, let's worry about that when we come across. <laughs> and we, we make our way towards the king's quarters. Uh, you get to the door to the king's quarter, and there's a guard there. Mm. Well, two guards there. Uh, well, then I don't quite go around the corner then. I'm like, okay, what do we do? I've been thinking about it a lot. I guess killing isn't necessary. I'm just getting really excited being a part of revolution. Should we just... I got smoke pellets. Throw the smoke pellets down, rush in there, knock them unconscious, get in the room, and then the rest is in the history books. Sure. <laughs> you don't got any ideas? Uh... <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Let's laugh at I do have a, a marble that's like a f <laughs> fireball. <laughs> you want to throw a fireball at him? <laughs> Fuck it. Sure. <laughs> I thought we were going to be stealthy. Yeah, we... We probably should be stealthy. Yeah, let's well. not. <laughs> as fun as that would be, let's save that for outside. But yeah, I'm gonna toss a smoke pillow between them then. Okay, uh, you, they're not, they aren't able to see, but they're still standing at the door, like straight in front of the door now. Okay, uh, rush them! <laughs> <laughs> rush them! <laughs> it's like smoking, looking around, like it's, rush them! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I, Attack <laughs> now! Attack! But uh, no, I'm just gonna, uh, I'll take the one on the left, and I just wanna, I'll just smash his face into the wall so he's unconscious. Okay, uh, roll a strength check. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same with the guy on the right. Or I guess, uh, roll a d20 to hit and then roll... No, actually, uh, that works. Yeah. Just strength? Just, yeah, just strength. Okay, well then, 21. 7. You knocked your guy unconscious. <laughs> you did not knock your guy God. unconscious. You were actually lost where he is. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> How's it going over there? I don't know. Uh, uh, I can't find him. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I'll go knock the other guy unconscious, I guess. The other guy's gonna try to attack, uh, you, Elrinal. Uh, uh, he got a 17 plus whatever. 
<laughs> I guess it's disadvantage. had just is over my AC. Got a nat 20 for it, the other one's not. <laughs> uh, he'll deal 10 damage to you. Ah. Holy shit. Child's play. Uh, can I hit him? Smash yeah, sure. his head in? I'll smash his head in as well. What is that? Is that a 4 or 18? Stroll again, if you can't tell. <laughs> no! <laughs> Five. <laughs> yeah, again, you did not smash his head in. God uh, damn it, I'll there's two of us! <laughs> I'm gonna tackle him again. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. So is this strength again? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Six. He's gonna tackle you now. <laughs> What's your what's your AC? So fifteen. Ah, oh, he misses. <laughs> Wait, oh, I'm gonna go again. <laughs> yeah, fucking get him. <laughs> I rolled twelve. Is that pleasant then? That is my plus. <laughs> <laughs> again, you don't. Know. I'm gonna tackle this guy. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> That's a uh, fourteen. Sure. <laughs> Eventually, you would just knock him out. This is a shit show. You guys suck. Yeah. <laughs> when I finally knock him down, I, do, I uh, you sit on him, and I'm just smashing his face on <laughs> the ground. <laughs> like, just fucking go out already. And then uh, I'll open the door, and I'll, like, calmly, I'll, like, fix my my ears. And I'll be like, you're coming with us. And I'll go back to uh, Ryan and Lazarus. Okay. You're- uh, uh, so yeah, so Shabda is yeah, he's following with me. us. Okay. Yeah. Is he suspicious at all? Uh, he's always suspicious, but well, okay. not more, more, not more, not more than normal. What a cudgy old badger! So I'll keep an eye on the entrance, <laughs> and uh, I'll have my bow drawn, and and he does have three lackeys. Yeah, you? as soon as I see the extra lackeys, I prepare hail of thorns. Okay, cool. Um, would. The giant fire dragon in the sky maybe draw some of the lackeys away? No, they're act- it does the opposite, actually. It's oh, keeping them near go. him. Well, that's fair. Um, okay, well, I guess we'll just bring him to Zix in the okay. alleyway. And he does seem concerned by the dragon. I think that it might, might be something that's happening. Well, yeah. <laughs> I guess we'll just ask Zix about it. Maybe he'll know something. Yeah, you take him to Zix? Yeah, so okay. we take him to Zix. And then, uh, what does he do? Uh, so, this, you are the Zix who has been causing so much trouble. I assume this is yours too? He points at the dragon. And Zix will be like, yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. <laughs> you're Shavada. What of it? Shavada will say, I've, I've got a bone to pick with you. And he'll draw his sword. How okay. close are his lackeys compared to everyone else? Uh, his lackeys would probably be around, like, seven feet away from him. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'm right next to him. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll put a hunter's mark on <clears throat> one of the lackeys, and then we'll let loose an arrow. Okay. Wait, 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 not yet. Is not that, yet? Is that something that the lackey would notice? Hunter's mark is just a bonus action. I okay. mark someone. Okay. Okay. And at this point, as soon as he draws his sword, I'm going to cast one person on him. So he just has to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. So 16. Oh, he had to beat a 15, so... Ooh, and he would know you cast that spell. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, alright. Yeah, that's why as he draws his sword and fucking... stuff starts happening, I lose an arrow. <laughs> at, at... <laughs> well, would I have advantage on that? Or I guess no, because it's no. a saving throw. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Fuck. It's that, going great. So much for that plan. Uh, so the one I have the initiative, Hunter's Mark. Oh boy! Oh, that could have gone so good, but I then know. you fucked it up instead. Man, that Wouldn't sucks. Wouldn't that get a, a free action? Uh, like, yeah, you, you can be, buy the arrow. Yeah. yeah. Would I have an advantage? No. No? Because you're, like, pretty close to him. I'd consider that a 15. Uh, that 15 hits his plus lackey. my 5, so a dirty 20. So, okay. So the lackey I hit takes... 11 plus d6 from the hunter's mark, so I'd be 16, and then everyone else takes extra damage from the hail of thorns. They have to do a dex saving throw. One failed, two failed, one, and, uh, Shavage succeeded. Of course he did. Uh, so how much damage is that? 
1d10 on top. Is that also on the guy you fired at? Yeah. Okay. So if the guy I fired at would take 16 plus 8, he'd take 24. The two guys that failed would take 8. And then Shad, Shad had succeeded. Yeah. He would take 4. Okay. Uh, so with the guy you hit is looking really badly injured. The other two are only moderately. Shavdala seems like he could go for Tiso. Uh, so everyone roll initiative. Initiative. Well, actually, just yeah, yeah, Yay. yeah. Just the two of you. Damn. Yeah. How long do you think this is gonna take? A good while. Yeah, it might take a little bit. Okay. Uh, there. Oh yeah, you, we're recording with your laptop though. Uh, maybe we should end it here. Yeah, mm-hmm. like. Uh, catch up n- next time on that <laughs> one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Fuck you, Tony. No. <laughs> this is Tony's fault. Tony sucks. Delete that. Oh, <laughs> delete it. Oh. <laughs>